go ahead. Speak. He's better than the can. Teach the kid a old lesson. Not my decision. Where am I? What did I do? Shut up. Don't be a fool. Now start yapping into the mic. Calm down. Boy, who told you how to perform a box job? How'd you crack that safe? Where's the bread? What? I ain't got no cabbage. I'm as broke as a dope fiend. We ain't no idiots. You, Hey! You... Go take a hike. Here. Look at these. Remember? I'm the high pillow in this room. You understand me? Now tell me how you managed to get into this. I know. I'd rather die in a meat wagon than get canned. In an ambulance? Not me. I'd rather take the three spot in the pen so we could fold that lettuce. Imagine, we could open a bakery with all the dough we're gonna get. <laughs> Only three? I guess. Um, remember to bring your mitts and cover your face. I want to cash out. You forget who you're on the line with, Bobby. I'll pick you up at 3 a.m. sharp. Any goosing around and I'll give you lead poisoning. We planned to rob a bank. Thought we would get away as clean as a freshly waxed car. We? There's more than one person? If I'm remembering correctly, yeah. Last thing I remember was taking a blow to the head. I can tell. Now, who's this partner of yours? Where's your paw wrap at? My what? Oh, gloves. Get your act together, Bobby. You're gonna end up with lead in you if you don't get your head in the game. What if I get made? What if the plan fails? This is never gonna work. This is never going to work. Trust me, this is going to work. Plus, if we get caught, it'd be three years. If you hide the money, you keep it when you get out. I'm never wrong and always right. Now, get to the van before I put you in the van. I've just met the guy. It's only been a month since I met him. How did a teen like you manage to get in touch with a robber like him? I forgot. All I remember is that he was mad at me for some reason after we robbed the bank. Something about not giving him a piece of the greens. I'm guessing it was successful? The robbery? Oh gee. It was more than a success. Walked out with ten grand. There was only one problem. Go on. We were made. Well, I was made. The police somehow snatched me, but not him. Is that it? What's your problem? Why is that boy glaring at me? Hi, John. Long time no see. Nice ink. You just had to mess things up. We had a plan, Bobby. There was no plan. It was get in and get out. Plus, we got our coin. What's the big deal? The big deal is that you stole my coin. <laughs> John, I did the box job. You used me. You had this big plan and... You know what? I'm out. This is my house. Get out! You're going to regret this, fella. You don't know who I am. I never knew who you were. I never knew who you were. What's going on here? You're acting like a fool. You want to know what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Your partner is also my partner. Look at the tattoo on his sleeve. That is the photo that's been in the pictures next to me. I don't know what you're talking about. You're going to pay for this. John, I don't know what the hell's going on right now, but you're under arrest. The Los Angeles Police Department, how may I help you? Uh, I have information on the Pacific Bank robbery. One of the suspects lives at 16483 Lewis Avenue. How do you know this? Uh, trust me, I know. What was that, sir? I didn't catch you on that. I kept all the money too. Hid the box where no one would suspect it. Dug it back up with no problem. I was able to catch a train and leave the country too. 
Poor John spent more time in the cage because he was a part of the force and committed a crime. Gave me some time to plan my escape. And now I'm living the lavish in Mexico with enough dough to open up a bakery.